In this lesson, we're going to talk about geometric sequence. We have two objectives. We need to illustrate geometric sequence and differentiate geometric sequence from arithmetic sequence. Let's have a recall first about the arithmetic sequence. So what is arithmetic sequence? A sequence in which each term is found by adding or subtracting the same number to the previous term. Example, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. This one is arithmetic sequence because we need to add 4 to the first term to get the second term. Add 4 again to the second term to get the third term which is 12. And add another 4 to the third term to get the fourth term or 16. And so on and so forth. Another example, we can also have this sequence 20, 16, 12, 8, and 4. In this sequence, we're just going to subtract 4 from the first term to get the second term. Subtract 4 from the second term to get the third term, and so on and so forth. In an arithmetic sequence, there is what we call common difference. So, what is a common difference again? That is the difference between two consecutive numbers in a sequence. Example, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, and 20. So, how are we going to find the common difference? Just simply get the difference between these two numbers. So, to do that, we need to subtract 4 from 8, that is equal to 4, 8 from 12 that is equal to 4, 12 from 16 that is equal to 4, and 16 from 20 that is equal to 4. So since they have the same difference, it means that 4 is the common difference of this sequence. This time we're going to talk about geometric sequence. So what is a geometric sequence? It is a sequence in which each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a fixed number called the common ratio. Example, in this sequence, 3, 9, 27, 81, 243, and so on. As you can see, nagdadagdag siya ng mabilis. nag increase siya ng mabilis. So, ibig sabihin, meron tayong isang fixed number na multiply dun sa first number para makuha yung preceding term na 9. So, ano yun? That is 3. So, para makuha yung 9, ita times natin yung 3 sa 3. That is equal to 9. Yung 9 times 3, that is equal to 27. 27 times 3, that is equal to 81. And 81 times, 200, uh, times 3 is 243. And so on. So, itong 3 na to ang tinatawag nating common ratio. So, what is a common ratio? Common ratio is the ratio between two successive terms. So, to get the common ratio in a geometric sequence, we need to divide the succeeding term by the preceding term. a sub n is the succeeding term divided by a sub n minus 1 that is the preceding term. Ibig sabihin, ito yung pangalawa, ito yung nauna. Let's have the sequence 2, 8, 32, 128, 512, and so on. Wherein, 2 is the a sub 1, 8 is a sub 2, 32 is a sub 3, 128 is a sub 4, and 512 is our a sub 5. So, in the sequence, we need to find the common ratio. Common ratio is succeeding divided by preceding term. So, that is a sub 2 divided by a sub 1. a sub 2 is 8 and a sub 1 is 2. So, we have 8 divided by 2 that is equal to 4. Another one, we can have a sub 3 divided by a sub 2. a sub 3 is 32 and a sub 2 is 8. So, that is 32 divided by 8 which is equal to 4. If we're going to continue, 128 divided by 32, that is also 4, and 512 divided by 128 is also 4. So as we have noticed, or base dun sa napansin natin, nakakakuha tayo ng the same answer which is 4. So it means the common ratio of this sequence is 
simply for. Since naaral na natin ang arithmetic or geometric sequence, this time we're going to identify a given sequence kung arithmetic pa siya or geometric sequence. Let's have the first example. We have 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. So, para malaman natin or ma-identify natin kung arithmetic siya or geometric, hanapan natin ng common ratio or ng common difference. So, dito sa sequence natin, mapapansin natin na increasing siya at medyo mabagal. So, sa tingin ko, this is an arithmetic sequence. Verify natin. 15 minus 10, that is equal to 5. 20 minus 15, that is also equal to 5. 25 minus 20, that is also 5. And 30 minus 25, that is also 5. So, since we have here a common difference which is equal to 5, it means this sequence is an arithmetic sequence. Let's have another example. We have 2, 12, 72, 432. We need to verify if it is arithmetic or geometric. So, anong napapansin nyo dito sa sequence na to? And, mabilis ang increase ng sequence na to. So, verify natin. Ito nga ba ay geometric? Check natin. 12 divided by 2, that is equal to 6. 72 divided by 12, that is equal to 6 also. And 432 divided by 72, that is also 6. So since we have here a common ratio of 6, it means this sequence is what we call geometric sequence. Let's have another example. We have 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, and so on. So ano naman ito? Arithmetic taya o geometric? I check natin. Medyo mabagal ang pag-increase niya. Verify natin. We have 22 minus 11, that is equal to 11. 33 minus 22 is also 11. 44 minus 33, that is also 11. And 55 minus 44, that is also 11. So, since we have here a common difference, which is 11, it means this is an arithmetic sequence. Let's have another one. Negative 25, 5, negative 1, 1 fifth, and so on. So, medyo decreasing siya ngayon at medyo mabilis. I-check natin kung kaya ng geometric sequence. Mag-divide tayo. 5 divided by negative 25, that is equal to negative 1 fifth. And then next, negative 1 divided by 5, that is also negative 1 fifth. And 1 fifth divided by negative 1, that is also negative 1 fifth. So, since meron tayo dito ng common ratio na negative 1 fifth, that is a geometric sequence. We have here a given geometric sequence. So, we need to find the missing term in this sequence. First thing that we need to do is we need to find the common ratio. So, to find the common ratio, we need to get the quotient of the succeeding and the preceding term. So, to get that, we need to have 8 divided by 4, that is equal to 2. 16 divided by 8, that is also equal to 2. So, since uh, 2 is our common ratio, we can now multiply 16 by 2 to get the fourth term. So, we have 16 times 2, that is equal to 32. And then, to get the fifth term, we can have 32 times 2, that is equal to 64. Let's have another example. We have 1 third, blank, 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 27 and 81. This is also a geometric sequence. So, this time, nasa gitna naman yung nawawalang term. So, anong gagawin natin? Kailangan tayo maghanap ng two consecutive terms o yung dalawang magkasunod na term para makuha natin yung common ratio. Ito yung 81 at saka 27. So, para makuha ang ating common ratio, divide lang tayo. 81 divided by 27, that is equal to 3. So, since 3 ang kanyang ratio, it means ang R natin ay equal to 3. So, pwede na natin ngayon makuha yung second term natin. So, ang second term natin ay... 1 third, which is the first term, multiplied by 3, which is our common ratio. That is equal to 1. So, ang ating a sub 2 ay 1. Sunod, para makuha ang a sub 3, that is 
1 times 3 o yung second term times the common ratio. That is equal to 3. So, 3 ngayon ang ating third term. At ang fourth term naman ay 3 times 3 that is equal to 9. Ganyan lang ang gagawin kapag ka nawawala yung numbers sa bandang gitna. Let's try to solve this problem. Assume that you have a flu virus and you forgot to cover your mouth when two friends came to visit while you were sick in bed. On the next day, they also got the same flu. Let's assume that each friend spreads the virus to two of their friends through their droplets. Assuming their pattern con this pattern continues and each sick person infects two other friends, we can represent this event in this following sequence. We have 1, 2, 4, and 8. Bakit ganon? Kasi, nung una, ikaw lang ang merong virus. Tapos, nung sumunod na araw, meron ulit na hawang dalawa. Sumunod na araw, meron ulit na hawang apat. Sumunod na araw, meron ulit na hawang walo. So, ibig sabihin, bawat isang nahahawaan mo, sa susunod na araw, nahawaan naman niya yung dalawang uh, kaibigan niya. So, itong 2 na to, ang ating common ratio. Pagpatuloy natin. If a person infects 2 more people with the flu virus, how many persons are expected to be infected on the 5th day? So, ang sequence natin kanina ay 1, 2, 4, and 8. So, since meron na tayo ditong first day, second day, third day, fourth day, ano ang gagawin natin para makuha ang fifth day? So, first, hanapin natin ang common ratio. So, ang common ratio natin ay 2. Kasi, 2 more people ang ahawaan sa mga susunod ng araw. So, para masolve ang fifth day, 8 times 2, that is equal to 16. So, sa pang limang araw, meron na tayong 16 persons na expected to be infected.